Hey guys, Barry here from TGS with Grand Theft Auto 5 Casino Limousine Service round trip video. Gonna find out how long it'll take for the limo in a hurry to go from LSIA all the way up to Polito Bay and back, going in a big circular motion around the entire highway system of San Andres. So, real quick, I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. We're starting here right now. Obviously, we're gonna continue on. Unfortunately, we can't hop on this bridge right here without first entering the highway system over here. So, we're gonna set quite a few waypoints. First one's going to be on this bridge to ensure we end up uh, up on this bridge system. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, try to move it down a little bit to see how far he'll go using this uh, pathway. So this way, yep, exactly my point. So there's a certain limit before it'll change the plan to get where we're trying to go. So that's a perfect point right there. Move down a little bit where I initially started. My hope is from there we'll go up through here and we'll set our next marker to be all the way up here, most likely, you know, in this little shopping center, where we'll hop back on and continue our way north all the way up to Polito Bay, preferably sticking to the highway, but it's completely up to the limousine driver if he deviates a little bit. But uh, basically, once we're in Polito Bay, my goal is to try and work out the waypoints to make sure we come back down the uh, West Coast Highway, passes by a few little resort towns, and eventually back into Los Santos. From here, I'm going to guess he'll most likely either get off or he'll take the highway system right back down into the airport. But uh, I'm going to set maybe up to five markers ma you know, max, so we'll have to hop into the menu while we're in the ride and quickly do it real quick here and there. But uh, I'll do my best to showcase the limo driving. He'll be probably be smashing in the cars, you know, getting angry, getting stuck. It'll be an interesting journey. It's definitely a bit more crazier than the taxi rides from my experience. I was up here in Vinewood Hills and... Uh, basically what happened all the way up here uh, and he went into like a driveway by accident speeding too fast and he couldn't get out so he was going back and forth for a good like five minutes you know I did it off stream and uh, should have recorded it for a video because he legit got stuck in the driveway he had like an inch in front of the limbo an inch in the back so he couldn't turn around so he's just going back and forth for an insane amount of time and then turning the wrong way to get stuck again so it was absolutely insane uh, so I'm hoping we don't get stuck here we're sticking to the highway system so at most we might smash a few times but Let's hope for the best, and we'll find out, you know, what kind of rating this limousine service deserves. They sent me a white limo today. There's Hank, our driver. As you guys can see, this is the Diamond 1 limo. Let's go in the first person. Give you guys a quick perspective. Obviously, limos have been in this game for a very long time. But you couldn't get driven around by a limo until the casino. Unless you obviously had somebody else drive you around, but that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and uh, hop in. I'm going to go ahead and run a timer on my phone. I'm also going to try to align the time with the video. So uh, we'll go ahead. I'm getting my stopwatch ready. At this point, we are inside the limo. Just to give you guys a short little view of what it's like inside of here. Nice, luxurious place. You know, hang out with some friends, take a limo ride. That's what we like to do. We'll, uh, you know, go to the casino, go here, go there, go everywhere, and uh, makes for a good time. So basically we're going to start when this video hits 3.30 on the clock. 3, 2, 1, start. And uh, pretty much we're going to tell him to go in a hurry. And now we're just going to change our view. I'm taking the pills. So uh, probably take, I'm going to guess, around 10 to 15 minutes. That'll be my gamble, you know, we'll put the... Uh, our quote-unquote roulette chip on the time and uh, you know see what happens he's already off to a terrible start as you guys can tell unfortunately uh, he already missed the the exit for the highway loop so I'm not sure what he's planning to do but it seems like he is confused uh, this driver might not be getting a good rating but let's give him a chance guys you know we, we can't we can't suspect he doesn't know what's going on in the world until he, uh, until he at least tries. He, he didn't even get on the highway yet, for heaven's sake. Oh, God. I'm kind of nervous for what we're in for, guys. We didn't even leave the air, airport yet. We're already smashing. For some reason, it won't let me go into uh, a better perspective, because uh, if I hit B, it'll stop the ride instead of changing the view. So we're just going to have to hang in there with uh, this view, I think. It's probably the best view furthest back gives us the most uh, range perspective. This guy has no idea what's going on, guys. He is missing turns left and right. You know, it's 
that bad day when you call for an Ubex and the driver is, you know, doesn't know where to pick you up, then he, uh, he goes the wrong way and then he just begins going on his own journey, apparently. So, uh, I don't know what he's doing, guys, but this is not the plan. He just decided he should reroute. This is legit like a real life experience. Uh, let's start again and see if we'll go the correct way this time. I don't know if you guys ever had that kind of experience where the driver doesn't seem like they know where they're going. I have. I live in the city, you know, I used to take uh, quote-unquote Ubex quite a bit. And uh, it thankfully never ended like this. This guy's absolutely horrendous at driving. I don't know what's going on with the casino AI today, but uh, I think this is the worst driving I ever experienced in the limo. He's literally trying... He's in the wrong lane of the highway. And now we're passing the guardrail so we're now officially driving down the wrong side of the highway now he's turning around are we even going to be able to make it to Polito Bay I, I really don't even know I really don't know what's going on this is the worst AI driving I've seen I thought uh, some of those Saints Row 3 AI were pretty bad doing helping out with those missions where they'd uh, be getting into a gang war and driving at 20 miles an hour down the road wondering why we're you know at risk for getting hit by uh, RPGs by the vehicle behind us don't it. No, Agent 14, I'm busy. My life's at risk. This guy doesn't know what the hell's going on. We're three minutes into our dang tour, and we haven't even made it onto the highway entrance to get out of the airport region of the map. We ended up by the stadium, and he wanted to go the wrong way. That's why I had to turn him around. I want him to actually take this route. So unfortunately, this is going to count against him. Yeah, we're going to hold this time against him. We have to because uh, the AI is prone to mistakes, and we're just going to have to allow those mistakes. But we'll have to consider that if he didn't mess up, we probably would have been only a minute in. But he literally wasted two minutes of time trying to get over here. So now that he's up here. Setting a new marker. Now I'm going to do myself a favor uh, really, really fast and see what happens if I set the marker all the way up here. Oh, 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 shit. It's definitely not what I need. So I'm really sorry about this, guys, but I'm doing my best uh, to get us where we got to go without deviating our course. Here we go. The driver seems to be just doing what he has to do to go to the new destination. So while switching it around, I think he was just not driving fully. But Let's see how the cookie crumbles. This is a little bit messier than I initially was hoping. From the driving to the waypoint adaptation. It's like, we're already on the highway. Why would we turn around to get off and then get back on like the wrong way just to turn around on the highway or whatever the heck the game wanted? You, know, you, know, you never know. These games can be pretty funky in how they determine how to go about stuff. Thankfully, the real-world GPSs don't do that too often, but I've heard some horror stories. Now that we got our... Uh, our coordinates correct, you know, he's pushing the gas a little bit more loosely, and there we go. My car will be fine. But uh, we're at five minutes on the dang clock already, guys. Like, he is not timing well for us. It's a little bit disappointing. I was hoping for a better uh, run, but honestly, if they're going to make that mistake every time, it, you're not going to have much better of a run. He's obviously uh, seemingly clueless on what he's trying to accomplish here, so... I'm going to set the marker on the highway. And, yep, we're good now. Once we start journeying up that highway, we'll go ahead and, uh... You know, figure out on a turn route. He decided he should get off the highway and get back on. I don't know why, but... Oh, God. And then instead of going around the truck, he just rear-ends it. limousine service is great it's definitely uh convenient and i definitely like to roll in these limos uh with friends and stuff online especially late night you know you're chilling at the you want to go to the casino and hang out i have a designated driver and, uh you know he, he does the job but it can be scary <laughs> we've uh taken this limo pretty much all over the place through our uh, time playing this game. And we'll see how he does. Uh, 
and the view just changed to alternative perspective out of nowhere. What I've been wanting all along, then changed back because I had to go in the map and update our uh, our destination. I'm trying to see how far I can go down here before it deviates the uh, the pathway. There we go. Apparently for no reason he wants to get off here and take an alternative route. This is proving to be one hell of a weird trip, guys. Like he like the highway clearly goes where we need to go, so I don't know why we have to get off at the wind farm, but I'm just gonna let him do what he needs to do. He obviously you know isn't having a good day driving uh for the casino, so but yeah, let him get on the back road for a minute. If anything, uh it's probably adding time to our trip. So he's just damaging uh, the casino's reputation on the uh, get me around the map in time. Yeah. Well, if we don't make my flight. <laughs> he thought I wanted to stop at the uh, food cart on the side of the hot, you know, the road, but he didn't realize how tight, how tight on time we are. So he also said, you know, this dinosaur was worth seeing right here. So. At least we got to see the dinosaur, am I right? Barney the dinosaur over here. Gosh. This guy's gonna total the slimo before we even make it around the map at this rate. Don't miss the turn, what are you doing? Just a while, guy. I, I click. I can't stand this anymore. What is he doing? Where is he going? This is totally not the way that it's telling us to go. The navigation is saying to go on the highway. This dude's like wandering through Sandy Shores thinking we're going to take off from Sandy Shores airfield. But it's like, no, man, we're not. <laughs> oh, God, now we're on some dirt road that has no relation to where I'm trying to be. I think we're going to have to like set a marker up here, guys. Take it one step further to get him back on route because apparently he just had no idea what he's doing. He still doesn't. He took us to the U Tool factory or whatever heck it is over here. I guess it's a major store, but uh. Jeez Louise, bro. So are you trying to get us killed? So I'm gonna set my next marker up here in hopes that it doesn't deviate our plan. I can't believe we're almost 10 minutes in. I said 10 to 15 minutes, and we're not even halfway through the trip in 10 minutes. This is uh, embarrassing for the Diamond Casino limo service. Hank is not having a good day. I don't know if we'll be having any other days at this rate. <laughs> I don't know. Should we give him a bad rating? I mean, the app's going to be like, how many stars do you rate him? I mean, he's on, he's, low, he's on that lower end right now. One to two stars, I guess. Try to kill me, taking the wrong way. Losing like five minutes just to, again, taking the wrong way. Rerouting from the GPS. I mean, you know, this this is the stuff you don't want to happen while you're in a, in a ride. Getting a ride, per se. I don't know about you guys, but me personally, you know, when they provide a, a way to go. Unless, you know, I know it's a better option, I prefer to go that way. So, for instance, was showing the highway, he should stay on the highway instead of getting off. But they, I have a mind of their own. In the city, not following the GPS sometimes with like a ride sharing app is actually beneficial because sometimes it'll, uh, it won't take you the best route. It'll take you like right through the heart of traffic and you sometimes get lucky and get a driver who's like, oh, I can save you a few minutes. Yeah. Swapping this out for this and going this way and you're just like, all right, sounds good. But on a map like this, the highway was clearly the best way to get up here. The limo's not, go, not doing too well, as you guys can see. I mean, 
Looks like it's got a custom design. <laughs> so at this point, we're going to go ahead and uh, set a marker for like all the way down here and hope that he actually goes where I ask him to go. But welcome to Polito Bay. Halfway here. Or halfway to LSIA, I'd say, uh, in about just under 12 minutes. 11.50 as of right now. Can we do it in another five minutes? I doubt it, but we can see uh, if he can pull it off. Definitely interested to see if he handles this uh, side of the map better than the other side. This is kind of like the West Coast Highway. and While the main highway is absolutely awesome for just getting high rates of speed and stuff, this highway is a little bit more swervy. You now you can't just, you won't get away with just going max speed down this highway for some of these turns. They're pretty uh, sharp. Not all of them, but quite a few of them. We'll see how he handles them at high speed. He'll probably be crashing. So, For instance, one up here is pretty sharp. Unless you have like a Formula 1 car and you're really good at driving it. This turn is definitely not the easiest at high rates of speed. Ron, this is not the time, man. I'm in for the thrill of my life. This guy doesn't know what he's doing, where he's going. We gotta make sure he doesn't get us killed. The craziest bit or ending to this would be he legit like pulls off the road and drives off the cliff into the ocean or something. <laughs> Honestly, at this rate, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh god. It's going way too fast. Holy crap, what a save! What a save, guys. What a save. So what happens if I plan, if I tell him to go all the way here? So what if I tell him to go all the way back to here where we started? We started right around there. He gets off the highway. So we have to make sure he stays on the highway. So to do that, we're going to have to make sure we select, like, there. This way, uh, we can try and keep him on the route we want him on. We're going underneath the uh, airbase right now. I uh, never purchased that location. Honestly, it's a cool place to have. At the same time, there's nothing out here. I don't even know if there's many properties on this side of the map to purchase, so... Uh, might be a bunker or something, but definitely I don't think any houses unless you drive up to Polito. I actually have a house in Polito that I just let chill up there, uh, just you know, just so we have it available. Even though my yacht's movable, you gotta pay like 10,000 bucks every time to move it. You get tight on money in GTA 5, it's definitely not worth paying the yacht to move. I don't know where the hell my yacht is at this point. It's probably sitting off of Los Santos somewhere. Or LSIA. It's where it likes to go. There's nobody else in the server except me, so uh, as you can tell, I probably would have been blown up by now riding around the limo and uh... Yeah, it just helps out. I've tried doing videos online and people uh, will come out of nowhere with their rockets and you know, just next thing you know, you're exploding while you're in the middle of driving around trying to do something. It's a very hostile place on GTA Online. While not everybody's willing to attack you, you're they're most likely to find someone in the server who's willing to, to pop an RPG off at you just for no reason. And then you get pissed and you go back and then you're back and forth, you know, shoot out with the guy until one side gives up. We're moving on pretty good right now, guys. I think we're not too far off from Los Santos at this point. We're about 16 minutes in. I think, I, did I say 10 to 15 or 15 to 20 minutes? Either way, I think it's going to be on the 15 to 20 minute side. Probably closer to 20. But I, I think it'll be under 20 if he keeps up the driving. As you can see, we've already entered Los Santos at uh, Vespucci, you know. I almost said Vespucci. Vespucci Beach. Yo, what are you doing? Drifting through the red light, I see. Once he gets on the uh, the middle highway that we're trying to get to, I'll set a marker at LSA and then I uh, will 
be concluding this video pretty soon. There's downtown Los Santos as we smack into the guardrail. And another car. And another guardrail. This car, holy crap, he beat the crap out of it. I hope they have a good insurance policy at the casino at this rate. So my hope is he gets us there safely. As in, car intact, not exploded, not in the water. I mean, this car is already horrifying after that trip. This side's not as bad, but this side got really swiped up. The front end's completely obliterated. Maybe, you know, best if uh, Hank resigns. Uh, <laughs> at, least he, at least he didn't make a wrong, uh, wrong pass here, because he tended to like to go the wrong way quite a few times, especially early on. That was a disaster trying to get out of here. I feel like the cabs have less trouble following your commands when you tell them to go somewhere than this dude did. Even in a hurry, this guy just... Phew. I don't know if it's because he has such a large vehicle. But one, he likes to crash into every other car on the road. And two, he likes to go the wrong way, as for instance, he already just did. He's legit taking me around the entire thing back down to the lower level. I want him to take me where I'm supposed to go, but I'll give you guys a number if we were accepting the upper level. If we were to accept the upper level, he would have got like about 18.48 on the clock for uh, time. I'd say it's closer to like 15 or less, but again, that's if he does not make mistakes, if he doesn't crash half the time. If he doesn't hop off the highway for no reason, then hop back on. There's a lot of things he could do differently to uh, improve it, but uh, I don't know where he's going. I think he's taking us to Casino now because we passed the point. Uh, yeah, so so much for that. 1848 is the time we're going to have to go with. He literally just left to drive to the Casino, I'm pretty sure without me even telling him to because we passed the marker and I'm guessing once the marker closed it automatically said let's go to casino so to the diamond resort we go I guess at this point but uh I honestly don't know where the flying F he's going uh <laughs> where are you going dude where are we going this is so strange guys it really is I really don't know where he's going but that was crazy, 1840. I want to see, uh, let's see if he takes us to the casino. That's where I'm pretty sure he's taking us, but we're going to end with that time. I'm not counting this at part of the clock, even though the timer's still going. Oh, come on, last night was off the hook. It shouldn't take us long to cross the city like this, because he's not dealing with the highway system, which is kind of a mess down by the airport, if you guys didn't re you know, realize. It is definitely a mess. But uh, I'll give you guys a number for round trip plus taking me to casino. Just because we're already on our journey there. It's almost been two minutes since we left the LSI from when I called it out. In about eight seconds will be uh, two minutes out. He's going to take like three minutes across the entire town. The amount of time he spent like lost on the map at the beginning trying to get on the right highway. Oh god. I saw that. I wasn't sure if we are going to smash him, but we definitely tapped him. The wheels are friggin' leaning, the uh, front end just totally wrecked. We have one functional light on the back. This guy can barely get traction. We are in pretty bad shape. Just look at that <laughs> the fender in the wheel. It feels like he's also uh, having a bit more trouble handling, if I'm not you know, mistaken.
Either way, here we are at the Diamond Casino. Hank is one crazy son of a bitch. He took us everywhere. He got us to the airport, up to Polito Bay, back to the airport. Decided I should just go to the casino because that's what he's hired. And he kicked me out and drove off. So uh, 21 minutes and 53 seconds to circle the entire map with all of his mistakes and make it here. 1848 if you just include the round trip. So uh, yeah, that's that, guys. Thank you for watching. Would appreciate if you like and su uh, you know sub. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit of a random put together. Just threw a random idea together. It was like, let's give it a shot. You know, whether it's popular or not, I won't know. But uh, if you do enjoy, like, subscribe. Otherwise, we'll catch you guys in the casino. Peace out.